Well, welcome to a very brisk day in Chicago land. I think it's wind chill of 16 degrees, so perfect Dutch oven weather. So today I wanted to talk a bit about Dutch ovens and show you a rather unique item in the field that I think you would find useful if you're trying to do lightweight camping. So first off, let's start with the traditional Dutch oven that we're all familiar with. And if you're outdoor base camping, I consider these things almost a necessity. Um, this is a particular 10 inch lodge, shallow oven. So it's called a bread oven. I'm going to be doing biscuits today to compare the two. Um, the lodge has been in business since 1896, I believe. Uh, so they've been around for a long time. And the traditional Dutch oven, the design of it, if you're not familiar, the lid tends to be flat with a lip around the outside, and that's to hold the coals from the fire. On the bottom, there are stubby legs, which are designed to raise the oven above the fire. And traditionally, they're made out of cast iron. In the past, these are so valuable that the history goes that Lewis and Clark, when they returned from their famous expedition to the West Coast, brought back their rifles and their Dutch ovens. Those were the two most important things that they had. The downside to a traditional cast iron Dutch oven, uh, there are a couple. One is it is heavy. So it's not a lightweight packing item. They do weigh quite a bit. Uh, and number two, being made out of cast iron, if they are in a humid environment, they can rust. So they require a, a reasonable bit of care, not overly, but you have to make sure they're well seasoned which means they have a lot of polymerization of oil in them to keep them from rusting. But you can get rust if you can see on this lid. We did have a little rust on top of this after a camping trip that we had to uh, sand off and start to reseason so you'll see the colors different. So what are the options? Well, there are a couple companies that make a Dutch oven that looks like this out of aluminum. Personally, I've never been drawn to those because if I'm going to use a Dutch oven that looks like this, it might as well be this. What I did find, and this is something unique in the industry uh, and something that is not well known. I've never seen it advertised in any big retailer. Uh, so hopefully this is an introduction to you. And that is the Woody Dutch oven, which is made in Michigan, all USA made. Also, the Lodge is USA made. This is made out of cast aluminum. It is not um, anodized, so it's raw aluminum. And this oven consists of basically two halves. They're very symmetrical, although one has an inside lip, one has an outside lip. So if you can see, effectively, you have two essentially nine inch square fry pans that you can put together to form a Dutch oven. So today we're going to compare the two and how they cook. The benefit of this is, of course, it will not rust. So maintenance is very easy. You can clean it with soap and water and it is very, very lightweight, relatively speaking. Now a couple aspects of the Woody to compare it with the Lodge is you'll notice that this stove does not have the raised legs. What they have done instead of that is if you can see on the bottom, there are four bolts in the unit. You can actually unscrew those bolts and put in longer bolts. They are supplied when you buy the stove and those bolts then act as legs. So you can raise this off the ground. The other thing they've done is there are indentations on the lid. If you have the extended legs and you want to stack ovens, it fits right into that spot. They've also made these so that they fit on a camp stove so that you can use these on top of a camping stove. It does not have a raised lid nearly as deep as the lodge, but it does have an indentation that does serve to hold charcoal. A couple other things that I will mention, uh, as you can imagine, when you've got these things on charcoal or in a fire, they get hot. So how do you handle them? I think an essential piece of equipment for the lodge is essentially a lid lifter. This is the lodge version. And it serves as a lifter for the lid. You can also use it to lift the entire Dutch oven off the fire. And one other thing that Lodge recommends, and I will be doing during the cook, I probably won't show it because brevity counts, but 
it asks you to rotate the oven. So you would rotate the lid a quarter turn to the left and the entire oven a quarter turn to the right. And that tries to eliminate any hot spots that you have from the coal. So we talked about the maneuverability of the Lodge Dutch oven um, using the lid lifter. As you can see, the Woody does not have handles. So if you are going to move this while you're cooking or after you cook, there are a couple ways to do it. Uh, one, use some fireproof gloves, heatproof gloves, and move it. Uh, number two, that, and I consider this a necessity, they do design a pair of pliers that are designed specifically for this oven. If you look in the lid, there are two tabs that have a hole in them. Now when the lid is on the oven, you can put the pliers in, lift the lid very easily. These pliers also serve as a standard pan lifter, so you can move the pan around from the fire to the table, whatever you want to do. So that's how you do it with the Woody, since it doesn't have a handle. A little history on the Woody. Um, as you know, Lodge has been around for 120 years. Um, the Woody really came about in the 1970s, and it was designed, not this particular design, but it was designed as an aluminum alternative to a cast iron Dutch oven for the Boy Scouts. So you can imagine being a Boy Scout and having to lug a cast iron Dutch oven in a backpack was pretty onerous, let alone in a canoe or kayak or whatever. So the original Woody was designed uh, to allow the Dutch oven to be backpacked into a campsite for base camp. Um, obviously neither one of these is for a trek on a backpack, but for base camp, it was designed to be more easily carried um, and um, used by the Boy Scouts. Now the company, the initial company that made this did go out of business, quit making them. A few years ago, two fellows from Michigan, um, one had the original Dutch oven and was doing a presentation on kayak and cooking in the, in the wild, the outdoors, um, was approached by another gentleman named Rocky, who now runs the company, and they brought up the idea of recreating the Woody Dutch oven. Um, again, designed for water sports or hiking to a base camp. And they created this version. Um, they named it the Woody Dutch oven because um, it's basically an homage to the original designer whose name happened to be Woody. So today what we thought we'd cook is a box of the Red Lobster Cheddar Biscuits, just to show you how this works. So you can see we just have five biscuits in each one. Uh, we've got the coals in the bottom. Now we're gonna stack coals on the top. We're using the Lodge recommended 27 coals on each one if we can get them. That is the requirement for 425 degrees. All right, here we go. We've got the charcoal on, as you can see the bigger lid diameter of the Dutch oven the lodge holds the coals easier than the woody when you're trying to do this much heat but it did act call for 425 so that's what we're going to try to get to okay it's been about 12 minutes now and you can see the steam coming out of the lodge there's no steam coming out of the woody yet and I think one thing that's going to make the lodge cook faster is the fact that this is the lodge bread oven so the lid is very close to the biscuits. It's a shallow oven. On the woody, you have a lot more head space between the coals and the top of the muffins. I wasn't sure if the aluminum, the way it distributes heat would make up for the difference, but I'm not sure. So let's check the biscuits in the lodge. And I did rotate this at the five and 10 minute mark. I think those are done. So we're gonna take this off the heat and dish those biscuits out uh, because one thing that cast iron does do is hold heat really well. So I don't want the bottoms to burn while it's sitting. Easy peasy, no sticking.
and we did line both of these with Crisco. All right, we just took the biscuits out of the lodge, as you saw. Let's see where we are with the woody at this point. Still has some room to go. So I think what I will do is I'll put a few more coals on top of the woody and see how much longer that takes. Also, I wanted to show you that on the biscuit coming out of the lodge, the top is a very nice golden brown, but also the bottom, very even, very beautiful golden brown. All right, well, as you can see, the charcoal on the woody is burning down. Honestly, we are now one hour and one minute longer cooking in the woody than we did on the lodge. Let's see where we are. Still not done. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just take this in the house, throw it in the oven, finish these off. And contemplate, I think, what happened with the woody today before I do my conclusion. I wanted to quickly point out the table that I'm using today is the Lodge Dutch oven table. Um, it's pretty handy around the house. You can grill on it. You can use your Dutch ovens. Stacks in that nice little carrying case over there. I don't normally take it camping with me. It's heavy and a bit bulky, but it is pretty convenient. Uh, maybe I'll do a quick demo of the entire table one day. Boy, so what are my conclusions on today's test? Well, I don't think there is any other conclusion except that the Lodge won by knockout today. Uh, not only did it cook the biscuits beautifully, but it did so in 12 minutes. An additional hour of cooking in the woody Dutch oven and the biscuits did not get nice and brown on top. Why is that? I don't know. I think perhaps there is too much headroom in the woody to be used as a bread oven, so to speak. Uh, perhaps the fact that it's aluminum in this weather where it's a little bit breezy, again, the wind chill is 16 degrees. Maybe the aluminum doesn't hold the heat as well. I know the Dutch oven works. I've used it camping. I've cooked things, salmon loafs, um, meatloaf with some pictures, uh, meatloaf, fried salmon patties. So it's a, it's a useful tool, but today it just did not perform. So would I say that I could replace my Lodge Dutch ovens with the Woody? And I think the answer to that is no. Um, Lodge comes in a variety of sizes clearly an advantage. So as a, as a set of tools, the Lodge are better. As a one tool to carry, would the Woody do it? It depends on what you're doing. Again, we've cooked meatloafs in them and uh, salmon loafs and things like that, and it's worked fine. But it's been during much nicer weather. Um, so I think really what you get in the woody is you get two nine inch aluminum fry pans that can be pressed into service as a Dutch oven. Not a Dutch oven that also works as two fry pans. So I would say that the benefit to the woody is more in the fry pan side of the equation. Um, but given the way it turned out today, I am going to retest the woody on a camping trip, so watch for that. Um, also with the woody, I mentioned, if you wanted to extend the legs to stack them, or perhaps even use on coal, uh, this is the pack of bolts that comes with it. Also available is a very nice carry case that has a divider so that the two pieces don't clank around. So that's very nice, very well thought of. Um, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you at least discovered the Woody Dutch Oven or got to know it better if you were aware of it. I hope it's helpful. Um, I will do more Dutch ovens 
in the future, for sure. I appreciate you tuning in. Always welcome to subscribe if you find them useful.